Hi there, my name is Adam Wilkinson. I'm uh, the Witten Lab Manager at UBC and uh, we're out here in the field in Wyoming today. Um, we're just going to do a quick instructional video on plant demography, how to set up a line. So um, we'll start with our anchors. The uh, system we have is just by calling it R1 for back when we did rebar as an anchor. So uh, you can call it whatever you want, but noting those in your pictures and your GPS points is important. So we're going to start with our R1. Um, most important thing when you're starting out with your demography, your plant demography, is to get a representative uh, snapshot of the population where you're at. So here in the Medicine Bow, this uh, site has a great uh, population, this whole area. Um, we're going to call it, uh, give it a site name, and uh, give it these uh, lines and plots within it. So this is how to set up your demography line. Start with your anchor um, and have a standardized length. Come on with me, Evan. Uh, so I'm running my meter tape out throughout what I deem to be a representative population at the site. And I'm going to set up a few lines here at this site. Um, and I'm not going to have them very close together. I'm going to have them spread out so that if anything happens, like a fire or uh, cows come through or uh, moose stomp through uh, a line, you can uh, have a little insurance, make sure you get a good uh, amount of data year after year. So our meter tape is uh, 30 meters and all of our lines are 30 meters long. No exceptions. We try to just keep it at that standard. And since it's kind of a place where the grass is going to grow and change, we're going to put one anchor at the, far the start we're going to put one anchor at 15 meters and wrap it once just to give us an even more accurate line as we go along. So, continue on through. And this gives us a great opportunity to vector the line. We can change the angle to uh, make sure we get as many plants as we need, or you can run the line as straight as you need to as well. So from that 15 meters, we're going to run it out all the way to 30. And at 30 meters here, we're going to stop, put in our final anchor, wrap the tape, and pull it tight. We want the line to be nice and tight and not have a lot of deviation. That accuracy uh, will come in uh, year after year. Running the line is very important and you'll take the most time to run your lines and repeat that in the way that you've done it. And how we repeat it and make it so it's repeatable, we now have our GPS and we're going to go ahead and take waypoints for the three anchor points along the line. Each one gets a unique name and ID. We're going to also take photos. So a step back and part of the site selection, you want to select a place where um, if you have the option with your population, you've got some nice landmarks. So I'll take an image and I'll have the final rebar for this one, and I'll have some of the features in the background. So a two trunk pine, um, that's a nice one, or two pines about six meters apart. Um, for this, as a little description, go to my middle anchor, I'll take an image that has just something. Uh, in the distance uh, where the car is parked or a larger tree, just describe it with those kinds of nice solid landmarks that aren't going anywhere in your, um, in your line. Um, so that's how we set up a line for plant demography in the uh, Witten Lab. And uh, we hope you'll get out there and find some interesting uh, plants to study and set up some demography plots and lines of your own. Thanks for watching.